are thousands of different species of fungi. Rhizopus is one of them that's on your Lebensart biology course. Rhizopus can reproduce sexually or asexually, but this video will deal at sexual reproduction in rhizopus. Under adverse conditions, such as dehydration, unsuitable temperature or unsuitable pH, lack of nutrients or lack of water, sexual reproduction takes place. Sexual reproduction occurs in hypha, which look very similar but are chemically different. There is positive strains of hypha and negative strains of hypha. During sexual reproduction, the hypha from opposite strains grow close together. Swellings form between the strains. These swellings touch, the haploid nuclei inside the hyphae move into the swellings, forming progametangia. After this, cross walls form, blocking in those nuclei and forming these, these structures known as gametangia. The nuclei from positive and neg negative strains fuse to form diploid nuclei. Following this, a zygospore fuses around the diploid nuclei. When conditions are suitable, the zygospore germinates by meiosis. A haploid hypha grows out of the zygospore and produces a sporangium at the tip. The sporangium releases many haploid spores, which blow away to produce new hypha and mycelia.